Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata Data in San Jose. I'm here with Eric Hansen from MemSQL. Eric, how are you doing? Good. So how has the event, event been for you so far? So it's been really exciting to see what's going on in big data and data analytics. It's been good. And so you guys gave a keynote today that talked about latency free, and that's really cool. So can you explain a little bit what you're trying to get to? Sure, so we want to be able to run queries with interactive response time like down to like a quarter of a second on huge data sets while you're updating them. So that's pretty much what it means to be latency free for us. And so if you're latency free, your, your platform is going to allow, or your technology is going to allow other companies to do faster AI or make decisions quicker or have their apps react quicker. What, so, what is the whole goal there? So what, what we're really good at is real-time analytics. So as the data is changing in an operational system, we capture it into MemSQL, and then we are able to query it really, really fast so that people can do an analytical queries on that new data in like sub-second time or even down below a quarter of a second. So as the data is changing, we can query it really fast and with high concurrency. And you're not talking just about little teeny pieces of data, you're talking about massive data sets? Right, right. Like billions and, or trillions? Yeah, many billions of rows, even even trillions. And in sub-second sub right. level. Right. And so someone like a NASA or a aerodynamics company or companies like that, that's going to be crucial for a lot of them, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, anybody that has a lot of business events coming from a business process or reading uh, telemetry off computer systems or sensor data, that kind of thing, could make use of it. And so where do you see, where do you see this going? Like, which, which industries need this the most? Are so, there? sure, financial, oil exploration, yeah. Yeah. media and communication, those are some of our uh, verticals that are using MemSQL. And so does this latency free scale as well? I mean, obviously sure. you're working on big record sets, but can you scale it out as well as up? Um, so yeah, we scale out, so we, we split the data across multiple computers, we call them leaf nodes in our architecture, and by you can split it across as many nodes as you want to scale to arbitrarily big data sizes. And does a leaf node fit into a tree or something, or how? What, what is so it's a, it's just it's just two levels. We have aggregators on top and leafs on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. And and an architect that's building a data system, do they have a hard time specifying that, or is it easy to do? So um, it takes it takes some practice, but our sales engineers are good at like looking at the the use cases that our customers have and helping them size the the clusters in advance. And then if they need to, they can grow it. So you know, they can add nodes and rebalance the data to grow, grow their clusters. And are you seeing a, a big reception with this in the industry? I mean, are your customers excited about this? Sure. So, um, so we, have, you know, we have a customer in the oil exploration area that's used, taking telemetry off of their sensors from the drilling apparatus. We have another financial customer that is, has a a real-time application for people to explore their stock portfolio and they flip the smartphone application open and it paints the screen in sub-second time after running over a hundred queries against MemSQL. So it's really fast, interactive, sort of premium experience. So yeah, those are some of the things people are being able to do with our product. So where, where does MemSQL sit in a data stack? I mean, are you, Here's the metal down here. Are you guys the next layer up, or where are you? So we're we're an SQL relational database. So we're the foundation of the platform. Typically, um, you know, people run you know store their data permanently in MemSQL if they want to and run queries against it. Um, other scenarios, they have like a master copy of the data and say an Oracle or a Sybase system and change, do change data capture to replicate it into MemSQL in real time, and they can we can query a a copy of the data from there, but do it faster, and do analytical queries without perturbing the source system. Maybe product and customer data in that sort of spin up database? Sure. In, any kind of event data, you know, has to be, re, you know, high volume events typically. Yeah, okay. So if you and I sat down 12 months from now and have this conversation, what are you going to tell the people here at Strata Data that's changed for you? Changed for you guys at MemSQL. What are you going to be doing differently? Very interesting question. So. But right now, our sweet spot is real-time analytics, sort of as a, what we call an operational data store, where we copy data from a source system and then analyze it you know, quickly after it's been born with analytical queries. And so we're going to 
and then there's, there's transaction processing and data warehousing that are sort of, we're sort of in the middle of the two. And, and we're going to continue to be, become a better and better operational data store, but then sort of broaden out into transactions and data warehousing until we can cover that kind of the whole pie. We're sort of the next generation general purpose database product and we're just growing stronger and stronger over, and next year I think you'll see that we're covering a bigger slice of that whole, whole picture. And if you could put on your industry hat, let's have that same conversation 12 months from now, what do you think the industry is going to be doing differently? What, what do you think will be the big thing on everyone's radar next year? I mean, this year it seems it's ML, DL, and AI that right. are the darlings. What do you see in the, on the horizon next year? So, of course, it will continue some of, some of the trends from this year. That, you know, that interest in ML will continue. The interest in real-time data platforms will continue. And um, so I think that you know, real-time analytics is going to continue to grow. The ability to do both transactions and analytics in the same system to, can simplify your architecture. You won't need as many products. And then those real-time analytical systems will continue to work better and better with big data and machine learning type systems. Excellent. Eric, we look forward to that conversation next year at this time. All right, thanks Mike. Thank you.